Well, Deb has been working me to death this morning. Well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's going to really be real happy about what we're doing right now? Karen. Yeah. Karen, <laughs> this this video is for you, Karen. <laughs> well, it's the beginning of our project on the bathroom. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. And a lot of you may not know this, but for uh, how many months now have we been using shower curtains to line the walls to protect them? Um, in April, it'll be two years. <laughs> <laughs> no. Surely not. Are you serious? Mm, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I thought it was only like a year. No. So anyway, yeah, well, I'll show you what, what we've been doing here, and we'll kind of talk about it. Do you think we ought to talk about Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Okay. Show off your handiwork All right. here. All right. What we did do when, of course, you know, keep in mind we were in a hurry when we were, you know, putting everything together, getting to the point where we could have a shower, and you know, in the process of building the trailer. But one thing we did do when we built the trailer, of course, we went ahead and, you know, put the pan in. And uh, we did go ahead and put FRP on this one wall right here. And of course, that's where the shower head mounts and, you know, all that stuff. What we had been doing on these two walls here uh, all that time, and I really thought it was like a year. And now Deb says it's been two years. I should have never asked. <laughs> but um, Year and a half. How's that sound? <laughs> okay. That sounds better. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. She said a year and a half. How's that sound? Um but we had been using, you know, just cheap shower curtains hung on the wall. You can see those screws up there. And we're still having to do that here for a little bit while we're working on it. And But now we decided to go ahead and start lining the shower wall. And we wanted to do something different. So we just got uh, all these cedar planks here hung just a, just a little bit ago. You know, this is what we've been concentrating on. I see some glue we got to wipe off too. Yeah, dear. it's all that um, But what we had to do, let me go over here. Get here where I can sit down for a minute and talk about this. These shower pans, you know, they have a flange along the base there, and it's kind of hard to see, and that there's a flange down there that sticks up. And what I had to do was build the wall out so that uh, when I put this stuff on, it would come down and clear the flange without flaring out at the bottom. So that's what we did first. We laid out a grid on this wall. And just like the grid you see here on this wall here. Now these planks are tongue and groove cedar planks that we're going with. And uh, what we've been doing as we've been putting them up, we've been gluing the heck out of them. Uh, I'm running glue down the groove inside each plank, you know, and then of course uh, pushing it over on the tongue on the other one uh, for it to seal real well. So that's, uh, that's what we're doing there. So this is the grid, what it looks like right here before we get started. Just so you'll know, uh, when we get to, right after we get done, you know, doing these walls here, that corner will still be there, but I'm planning on trimming out the corners with probably a PVC board. Uh, and, but I'm going to have it where that corner that you're looking at right there can easily be removed in case I need to get in there to access the taillight wires and stuff like that. Now, what we're also going to be doing is all along the top, and that's why you see that unfinished up there. We didn't go all the way to the ceiling, of course, is we're going to be building a valance up there with a removable panel, very similar to what you see above that door right there. And what that will enable us to do, again, is enable us to get to wiring, you know, if we have to, to work on clearance lights or whatever. So we can simply pull those uh, those panels uh, out real easily to get to the wiring and service all that. We have excess points like this all over the upper part of the trailer. And this is just the last uh, area that we have to do that way. But we have excess above there, all around there we have excess. So we can get to that if we ever need to work on that. So that's the plan. And then, of course, uh, after we get all of the planks hung, uh, we're, I know some of you will be ir irritated about this, but uh, we're going to stain it. We're going to stain it a weathered gray, which is this color here. Now, this uh, wood here was a denser wood, and it took the stain uh, quite a bit darker. Uh, the stain won't be that dark 
here because we did experiment with a little piece of it. And then after we uh, stain it with this weathered gray, then we're going to uh, put on several coats of uh, polyacrylic, right, dear? Yes, that is correct. Uh huh. So uh, anyway, that's where we are to this point. Anything else you'd like to add before we move on, dear? The wind is shutting our door. Uh, it's a, it's a monster. The wind picked up. A monster. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Karen, I hope you're happy yeah, with what Karen, we're doing. I'm tired, and, and I'm, I'm grateful that Jerry showed up today to yeah. help us. Jerry did show up, and he doesn't want to be on camera. Mm -hmm. He went for a walk. He went for a walk, right. but Knowing he what showed up, and he was he ran the saw for Bill, which yeah. is awesome. Which meant I didn't have to get up and go back, get up and go back, you know, all and that it, back and forth. Know. But, uh, you know, it's fun putting those tongue and groove planks together. Oh, yeah, it's a ball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, we're not done. We'll come back and show you the finished product uh, here and uh, show you how we ended up. Soon. Yeah. When will soon be now? I don't know. <laughs> All righty. All right. Be back in a minute. All right. We've been working away, haven't we, dear? Yes. Got quite a bit accomplished. Actually, more than I thought we would yesterday. This is the next day. And uh, I'll give them a good shot here of what we've got going on. And apologize for the shadows but uh, this is the cedar planks now these are quarter inch thick cedar planks tongue and groove they're about three and a half inches wide and what we did when we put this up there you saw where we had the stringers yesterday where we laid out the grid with the stringers we made sure that each plank was glued quite well to each stringer and in addition to that we also filled the groove with glue as well didn't we dear yeah that'll be pretty well yeah, sealed it is it is pretty well sealed and uh so tell them what the plans are today today i am going to stain and i'm hoping my stain comes out you know close to this color yeah because they changed brands on me mm -hmm. and um so i had to just pick one that i thought might work okay so i'm going to stain it and once the stain is dry, I'm hoping to get on a, one, at least one coat of polyacrylic today. Yeah. Now, why do you use, we, we talked about this before, but why do you use polyacrylic rather than polyurethane? Polyacrylic does not make anything yellow. Polyurethane can make it yellow. Tends to yellow after time. After a time. And, mm -hmm. and when you're going all natural, if I was to leave this natural, that would be beautiful because it would take on this golden glow. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't go with our decorating scheme. Right. Yeah. So uh, in the end, we'll probably end up with what four or five coats of polyacrylic on this before we call it good. That's probably for a yes. while, just to make sure it's sealed really well. And I feel like you know I'll have to redo it from time to time. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, but you know. This is how we've done all of our countertops. Uh, well, Don't show that one. <laughs> okay. It's all covered up with junk. But uh, all of our countertops, you know, Deb did a faux marble on those. And then you put about five coats of polyacrylic on yes. them. And <clears throat> especially the one where the kitchen sink is, it gets a lot of moisture on it. A lot yes. of abuse. And, of course, when I'm pouring coffee in the morning, I'm not the most graceful guy in the world. And I'm a little sloppy sometimes. And... Uh, spill coffee on the countertops but they have held up quite well and we're coming up on what about a year and a half of those countertops i, think, I would say yeah. close to that okay so uh we're not uh we're not concerned about that no. at all no. now i'll briefly go over a couple things with you the reason why you see this open top up here is uh this is where we're going to be building a valance and i talked about this a little bit in the first clip but I'm going to be building a valance there that drops down a little ways and goes all the way around. And that will seal the top of that and trim it off. And this valance will be very similar to what you see above the door here uh, is what it will be. And the panel that I'll be putting up here, which will also have polyacrylic on it, uh, it will be uh, removable so I can get in there to have access to the wiring and stuff like that. I will probably glue a little piece of insulation on the back of it, you know, to add uh, insulation, but we have had no issues at all staying warm in very, very cold temperatures and no issues at all staying cool. So it's not like we're losing a ton, you know, right in here. So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing there. Plus I'm going to be mounting a light 
uh, up here so I'll be able to see easier in the shower when I'm you know shaving and stuff like that and well so Deb will be able to see easier too so the valance will be the next thing we build and then we'll be trimming out this corner here well we'll be trimming out this corner uh, this inside corner here this corner over here and uh, I'll probably be using um, I'll probably make something up out of uh, some PVC boards you can get uh, one by material which is actually three quarters of an inch thick in PVC boards now and uh, you know and I'll cover up that corner but also have that where I can remove those if I need to in order to get in there and work on my tail light if I ever needed to get in there to work on my tail light which is about right in there so that is the plan all right well, I'm gonna back up and this is this is Deb's job right yep what we're getting ready to do now so I'm gonna let you get after it and uh, I might snap a few photos from time to time I'll try to make sure they're tasteful Good. <laughs> you're going to be in some precarious positions yeah. you know like i was that's yes. why we didn't film anything of me hanging no, the blanks. yeah it's okay to not film you well i'm just gonna <laughs> there may not be any photos delilah folks, found so, her anyway. home oh delilah oh delilah found her home yeah. of course in a box yeah <laughs> so you're going to be in that box the rest of the day delilah hello she, she, she doesn't want to talk i know she doesn't want to talk to me right now she's busy <laughs> this is our new corner shelf kit that deb had ordered that'll go in the shower you know to hold shampoos and yeah stuff like that so still got to figure out how to put that together Here now the instructions bit. are a little yeah mm -hmm. all right uh we'll be back in a minute and show you the finished product <laughs> all righty then got a, got all the stain up did it come out the way you hoped it came out almost perfect in this uh -huh. color let's see yeah came out real good again I have to apologize for the shadows let me see if let me try this well had even made different shadows <laughs> we'll just leave it alone but yeah came out really good so uh, and it didn't take you very long either did it no yeah so what you're gonna do now polyacrylic I'll put on a coat of polyacrylic and then we'll train the fan on it and let it dry and maybe it'll maybe I'll dry get fast several coats. Uh-huh. Because it it dry generally speaking, it's always dried pretty quick in the past, hasn't yes. it? On okay. warm days, and we're pretty warm today. Yeah, it is pretty warm today. So and we've got the when we're not filming, we have the Max Air fan going. Right. And we've got a little fan blowing right down here too. By the way, I love that fan. We might do a video about it one day. It's made by Tao Electronics or Tao Electronics. I saw it uh, online and just had to have it. It's battery powered and it works really, really well. But anyway, that's a whole nother subject. That's another day. That's a whole day. nother thing. All right. All right. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit. We'll see how it looks after it's poly. All righty. How many coats of uh, polyacrylic poly. do we have on there now? Three coats so far. I'd like to Three two more. Yeah, at least two more. Mm -hmm. uh, the first coat, it really soaked it up, which is a good thing because it's, you know, embedded, it's, you know, it's impregnated into the material, which I like that idea. But the more coats you put on, the less it uh, soaked up in there. And uh, that's what we're after is a really good surface coat. But we ran out. Yeah. Yeah. But it's drying pretty fast in between coats, yeah, it's right? It's taking about an hour. Right at an hour in yeah, between coats. Maybe even less. Yeah. Maybe but. even less, but it it really it's really coming out nice. And uh, after we get at least two more coats and maybe even more, we're going to make a material run in the morning. Right. And, and get some more, and make a material run, and uh, then we'll uh, put uh, two or three more coats on, and then after that, that's when I start uh, working on the balance up here on top, right there. But yeah, it looks looks really nice. And it matches pretty good. Yeah, it did. Let's get a shot back here like this. Uh, in fact, now it looks like this might need another coat or two of poly, poly. Uh, polyacrylic it here. Might. <laughs> yeah, which we can do that. We can do that. But uh, now I can't wait to get the trimming done. Now the trim, most of the trim, unless if Deb has a different idea, but the trim, like the valance up on top 
in the trim that I'll be running in this corner and the back corner back there and also behind this by the way Deb went ahead and put this together in between painting uh, the polyurethane the poly polyurethane poly acrylic. poly acrylic I keep saying it wrong but uh, she went ahead and put that together and that's going to work out really really nice yeah I think, I think I so think, yeah but all the trim unless if Deb comes up with a different idea and, and we have a discussion because see the light will go here I'm thinking <clears throat> right but all the trim will be white and all the trim is going to be white yeah, yes. right it'll be white and uh, so like you know we'll have a corner uh, PVC boards there corner PVC boards over here corner PVC boards back in this inside corner here and here yeah and what and we're going to do here <laughs> is we're going to put a PVC board coming out about uh, three or four inches this way going all the way down to the floor and that will also help when we pull the shower curtain when we pull the shower curtain over you know that'll help keep water from uh, you know splashing out on the floor we're going to replace this anyway but this is what's been happening right here <clears throat> and when we you know cut the new pieces for here and get them treated uh with a new idea that we have which we'll talk about at a later date um uh then um you know by having this little piece of pvc board sticking out like this you know a little ways out that will help uh that will help keep that from dripping down there so anyway got more to do uh but this is uh this is the end of this particular segment of the shower we're going to continue working on it and we're going to take you along with us as we go and we're going to try to stick with it until we get the shower done because we got to make karen happy right yeah um, <laughs> karen is one of our followers and have we turned out to be good friends her and her husband brad but karen every time we talk to them she says bill have you been working on a shower Bill, have you been working on the shower? <laughs> yes, Karen. Anyway, we're going to let you go for now. Uh, one more thing before we go, though. I do want to apologize. The first two clips that we shot, I didn't realize how dirty the lens was on the camera. I've got to start watching for that. And uh, so that's why they were a little hazy, the first two clips. I will watch that from now on. I apologize. Anyway. We'll let you go for now. This is Bill and Dad with I Ride Tiny House Adventures, and you know what we're going to say. Oh, we're not camping. We're exhausted. <laughs> I'm tired. I think pizza's on the menu tonight. Well, let's try this again. We are not camping. We are living. Exactly. Y'all take care. You get out there and do some living yourself, and we will see you shortly. Bye-bye now.